Hello and welcome to Game Guru. This is going to be a simple tutorial to show you how to make a basic scene. Um, it'll be just fairly simple to start with and then we'll start adding some little puzzles and things in as we go along. It might stretch to more than one video. We'll, we'll see. Okay, first of all, um, we'll add a building. Just a standard thing. Um, hmm, what should we go for? What look do we want? That is the question. It's all default, I think. Yeah, this is all default media. Um, doobity 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 do. We'll have the church, because the church looks quite nice. Um, do I want it facing towards the sun or not? Um, yeah, we're going to have it that way. And in fact, we're going to have it diagonal. Um, no, we won't have it diagonal, because that makes things more awkward. Um, you can notice the colour of the floor is changing as I press the U button. That automatically flattens or unflattens the land. I don't really care about that at the moment because it's all pretty flat. So I'll just plonk it down. The left mouse button. Um, and I'll just put my player marker up so we can put him just facing. In fact, now facing out and slightly in the building. There. There we go. Um, right. That's a start. Um, now, I think I'd like to go to the hills first. So, these icons above here will alter your terrain. So, you can raise the terrain here. You can flatten it with this. You can flatten it to the last level that you set there. That'll heal. Um, which basically blends any sort of rough edges up uh, and that builds a ramp so we're pretty flat here do I want a hill going up to it or down from it okay we're gonna try and make it we're gonna increase that by pressing the plus key there we go that will increase the area the minus key does the opposite I'm just going to go under there and I'm going to raise the land. That's going to look a bit strange, but it'll look okay. But that's probably high enough, I think. It's probably way too high. Let's raise some of this land as well. Around here. Well, I've got no real idea how it's going to look quite yet. I think that might be a bit high. In fact, I'll just increase the range and just drop it down. Just one click. There we go. Now, let's shrink that range down massively to about there. Go to flatten. There. And let me want to sort of, in fact, just a bit more than that. I want to sort of flatten the land around it. There we go. And make sure, and right there, just to make sure I get the same height as that, I'll use the stored height mode. So I can just come here and do the same. Just give it a bit of an area, we'll give it a bit of the back end there. There we go. And you can tidy all this up later. This is just a start. That will probably do what I think. Okay, so we've sort of got a hill. Going up to there. So let's try it. Let's try it. Okay, we're in. Yeah, it's rather high, but it's not easily get to. And that seems okay here. In the main, might need lifting up a bit, but that can be sorted. No problem. Let's go and have a look from down, down here. Pretty flat. Well, yeah, that's the sort of thing I wanted. Out on the hill. Obviously, the hill requires a bit more uh, attention, but we'll pretty fire all that up, make it look lovely. Okay, bit of that. Um, now, I'm going to try the ramp tool. And yeah, I want it to be fairly big. I'll make sure it's not quite on there. And click. And move across. Boom. There we have a ramp. So it should be a bit more 
useful. Now I don't know whether to increase the size of that. I think, oh no, I think that's fine. So I'm going to use the blend tool here. I'm going to shrink it down a bit. Uh, and then just go along the edges. See it's smoothing it up. Same there. The longer you do it for, the more it'll smooth. So you just play around until you, you think you're happy with it. Uh, just a bit there. A bit there. There we go. So that look should look okay. Ish, I think. We shall see. Right, I'll add a couple more entities in. Um not worried about buildings at the moment. Look have some foilage. And tree I want to start with. Do, do, do. Now you can just place these singly, no problem, or you can press the I key. It'll change to a nice bright yellow like that. And you can sprinkle them. And that's pretty much the best way to do it. Just lightly click to try not to hold down. You can do, and you'll get absolutely loads of trees. But you may have slow down issues if you go too mad because there's just no point having too many trees about for something like that. Now do I want them up there as well? Mm -hmm. Perhaps a couple. Got to be careful when you're on hills because they can place badly. And just a couple there. And obviously you can edit anything as long as you don't go too far. Right click and get rid of that. Right, that's starting to look quite nice. Um, let's paint the path a bit. Shrink that down a bit. And do I want it widdly? Or, well, I'm just going to do it straight for now. So the easiest way is click and hold down and then just move with the AWSD keys. And you can make a fairly straight path. And then obviously you, don't, you can just paint around if you want manually. Get that looking a bit war around there. You can right click as well if you've overdone it to delete it back to sort of grass. I tend to just put a bit of speckling everywhere just to make it less uniform. There we go. Um, lastly, let's get some grass. Okay, I want grass top there and I'm going to paint it all the way around let's increase the size of it so it's a bit easier there we go splash it all over do, 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 do. that'll do for there and just here some there try not to get it inside the church can delete it the same way as you can with anything else. So it's not too bad if you just arbor crop a bit, but it saves you some work if you're just careful. So that's probably enough grass. Um, do I want some down there? I'll do it. So let's get to the smallest size. Let's just, mm, it's a bit too big, but no, let's just lightly sprinkle just a bit down the edge. see as much. You have to really paint it like that to get thick grass otherwise you'll get thinner coverage. Um, right, before I go any further we'll try again. Right. Uh, perhaps a, a smidgen close, but mm, yeah. If, if it's an overgrown old place that's never used, that, that would probably work, but not if it's well used path. Let's just put it down a bit. It's looking a little bright, a little madly bright, so let's just drop down at the surface level a bit. There we go. So how easy it is to just adjust your settings a bit to make it look nicer. Um, well, yeah, can't see any grass. There's the grass. Very sparse. If I put it on full, I haven't. Whop. Let's knock it up to a hundred. 
and I might even increase the width and the height a bit, maybe. Might just take a while to think about this. Do 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 do. A bit better. Seeing a bit more width. And oh come on, don't do this. And more height. When it, when it finishes. Do 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 do. It's the only problem with grass. Every change takes quite a while. But it's not too bad. Doop. Right. I still can't see much. But I have made it a bit of a thin path. I might have to widen that up. Move the trees about. You see, oh, it's, a, it's, it's almost what I want. It's not quite what I wanted. I perhaps need to build the hills up a bit more. Yeah, that's not too bad. Look around the back. The grass it seems sparse. It seems so sparse. Ah. Hey! Let's, let's just put everything on highest. For some reason it keeps defaulting at the lowest settings. Right, okay. I'm looking a little bit better. That's more like it. I'm thinking, what's, what's going on with this grass? Good tutorial. Aha, look, we, we have proper grass. Well, still a bit sparse, but sparse. But, yeah, I'll probably need to just expand that quite a bit. But it's pretty easy to get in and out, check out what you want, try ideas, and then change your mind, as I have done. So, yeah, that'll do for now. Um, and next time, we'll carry on tarting it up a little bit. Add a few more things, perhaps even add some puzzles or something, but obviously it's a very basic scene at the minute, but it looks okay. Ish. But yeah, it's down to the artistic uh, nature, and obviously I've not spent much time on this yet. So until next time, I'll catch you later.